stencils for tattoos are the most important part of a tattoo essentially because that is what the tattoo is based on and it is so important for you to get that stencil right take the please take the extra time and apply that stencil correctly because if you're like it's okay i'll settle i mean it's a little crooked whatever that's gonna bother you later and that just takes an extra five to ten minutes of readjusting and applying and it really is not worth it for you to settle so this is the way that i do my stencil i'll be right back i'm gonna go get a piece of stencil paper so you guys can see what i'm talking about okay this is my stencil paper that i use i just bought a pack of like 100 on amazon and you're gonna need scissors and a pen and also tape step number one is for you to open up the stencil uh, pack and take out this sheet of paper that's not attached to this it's just there to prevent the ink from going on the stencil paper you're drawing the design on this yellow paper and it's going to transfer this ink from this ink paper to the stencil paper okay the first step is you're going to have a design so this is my design so you're going to take this on top of the yellow part you're just going to tape this on so that it doesn't move around as you trace it. So I'm gonna trace it, I'll be right back. So I finished tracing it, so now I'm gonna cut out the stencil. I like to cut so that this is still intact so that it doesn't all just fall apart. So now I'm just gonna peel to the stencil layer. Right there, how it transferred down. So this is the stencil. And this is how I get my stencils to stick on extremely well and last so long and last so well that if you mess up the stencil, you have to really, really scrub to get it off. So step number one is clean the area with green soap. You mix 10% green soap, 90% distilled water. I was gonna say distilled vinegar, don't do it. And you're just gonna clean the area, shave it, reapply the green soap and kind of froth it up and then wipe it so that all the grease from that area is gone, okay? The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take some rubbing alcohol and you're gonna spray it on the area and clean it so that it's really clean and really dry. Next up, you're gonna use a little bit of stencil stuff. Make sure you shake this. This is the one that I use. So you're gonna put a little bit more than you think you'd need. I'm just gonna apply to the area and you're gonna wait for it to get a little bit sticky. So you don't wanna apply it when it's still completely wet like this because it might smear. So I like to kind of fan it off a little bit. If it's a bigger area like this, I just take this and I would go like this to kind of all. Once it's a little tacky, you're gonna apply the stencil and you're gonna press and hold. You can even take like a paper towel, put it over the stencil so you can press down evenly and making sure that it's all on there, every single area. And then you're gonna peel off the stencil. There you go. And before you tattoo, wait at least 10 minutes. I know it's annoying and it, it takes a while, but wait 10 minutes so the ink can really get saturated into the skin. If you tattoo before, it could be fine, but with all the times you're wiping it, it's really gonna wipe away the stencil. After 10 minutes, you're gonna clean it with green soap again. The stencil is gonna stay on. If you did it correctly, it's gonna stay on. You're just gonna clean the area with green soap and a little spritz of rubbing alcohol, just a little bit and then you're ready to tattoo, you can put on your a &D ointment, whatever you use. But the stencil should stay on way past you tattooing it. I've tattooed this, um, wiping it a whole bunch and everything, and sorry, that's my dog. And, and the stencil was still on for days, for days afterwards, even though I cleaned it with green soap, it was still on. So if you have troubles applying stencils, I hope that helps. I mean, it took me a, a little while to figure it out because I went through so many, um, I went through doing so many mistakes, but I learned from my mistakes. And that is the best way to apply a stencil. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other uh, questions or comments or things you want me to, to talk about, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like, it really does help me out. And if you want to see any of my TikToks where I tattoo random items like toys and dolls and pickles then follow me on tiktok which is loomis tats thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day bye